What's up guys, welcome back to the Tough Puff. This is John here, and I realize I haven't done a PTC Geo video in quite a long time, or any video matter of fact, because you know we've been really busy um, playing cities and playtesting different decks for cities. But this is Ho-Oh Xerneas, or known as Rainbow Road, and this is my version of it. We got the idea from Stephen Bates. I believe he streams it online, so you can see his version which I believe runs um, non-EX attackers. So I ran this deck in two different cities. I placed third in one of them, which ran um, different attackers, but the skeleton is overall the same. And then I ran this in my last expanded cities, and I got ninth, finished on the bubble, which sucks. All right, so this deck is really fun, um, very explosive, but it is really easy to beat. Alright, so the main attacker in the deck is Xerneas from Breakthrough, Rainbow Force for 1 Fairy and 2 Colorless Energy does 10 plus 30 damage for each different type of Pokemon on your bench. So, um, yeah, that's the main attack. You won't ever use Power Creation. I mean, I guess you can use it, but um, I wouldn't and I have never been in the position to use it. Alright, now for his... Friends, we have two Shaman EXs, we all know what that does. Um, Jaws, you have six cards in your hand. We have one Landers EX for one Fighting Energy, just 30 30. Um, 30 to the active and 30 to the bench, really good against small Pokemon such as Combi and Joltik and all other baby Pokemon. Really good against um, Manectric, too. We have Three Ho Oh, so Ho Oh, the ability is rebirthed once during your turn before your attack. If this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may flip a coin. If Heads puts this Pokemon onto your bench and attach three different types of energy cards from your discard pile, so that's really good. The idea is to like, um, get rebirthed, get three energies on, use energy switch, put it on the Xerneas, and attack. And it's also a fire type, which adds to the attack. We have one Stun Fist, very situational, but um, he, uh, different type of Pokemon and Revenge is a good attack for well, one Lightning and one Colorless Energy um, if a Pokemon is knocked out during um, during their turn um, this attack does 80 more damage so does 100 so it hits Shaman for weakness, Rayquaza for weakness, Eveltar for weakness and he's a one prize attacker which is very nice. I only get to use Revenge like once but um, just know it is an option for the deck. Next we have Jirachi EX, uh, a Steel type. Um, you know, uh, when you play this card from your hand, you search for a supporter card, and then you run two Hoopa EXs. So a lot of people ask, why do I run two Hoopa and not one Hoopa? Well, because if you get a one Hoopa, set up your board, and then they um, play, they knock your Skyfield off, and then um, you put Hoopa to this card pile, play another Skyfield, get another Hoopa, and then reset your board up. So you can set up your board twice, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say. We have Keldeo, Water Type, Russian Retreat, um, to get out of special conditions, free retreat, you know, you know what Keldeo does. One Size of Toad EX, Quaking Punch, 30 damage, your um, opponent campaign item cards, just an alternate attacker, um, a stall attacker. This card could single handedly win you, like, Night March matchups or, like, Flareon matchups. Or um, if you just can't get your proper setup turn one, you could use this this to um, to stall. But usually you get your turn one. Four battle compressors to compress energy, ho o -Oh, and supporters. One computer search because it's the best A spec. Four energy switches to switch energy off a of ho o -Oh onto your stun fist, your landy, your xerneas. Um, three trainers mail to dig. Four ultra balls because. Um, you just run four Ultra Balls in almost every deck. Uh, four Via Seeker, same thing as Ultra Ball. One Chorus, we run Skyfield, so Chorus could be a huge draw support. One Lysander, one End, because usually you take prizes really quick, so you don't really need End. Two Professor Sycamore, only two because the deck runs pretty fast and you run Compressor. One Skyla to grab, you know, maybe the Ultra Ball, the Compressor, um, um, the Skyfield, the Energy Switch. Uh, four Skyfield to get big bench, so we can use Xerneas attack for big numbers. Two Assault Vest, this is very optional. 
you don't need muscle band you need you don't need silver bangle because you're going to knock out whatever pokemon is looking at you anyways but assault vest is nice um if any um pokemon with a special energy attacks it um this um this knocks off 40 damage like reduces the attack by 40 so that's really good it makes it harder harder for night march and Vesequin to knock out Xerneas, which is only one prize anyways. Two Float Stone, many for Keldeo. Four DCE, there's our main source of energy for Xerneas. Then we have the three Fairy for the Xerneas. Two um, Fighting for the Landy and the Lightning for the Stunfist. Uh, what you can run, you can run a Grass Pokemon such as Trevenant EX or a Pinsir and run a Grass Energy. Or you could drop the Landy and run you know, the Trevenant or Pinsir. It's just pretty much what you what you want as an attacker. Or you could drop the Toad and, you know, add a grass type Pokemon to um you know, make the uh, Xerneas attack much more um bigger, bigger damage. So what kills this deck is Silent Lab, if you don't have a Skyfield, Wobbuffet, and Hex Maniac. Pretty much if they go first and they drop a hex, you're pretty much gonna lose the game. Like you, it, it's just your deck relies on ability so much that hex destroys this game. I was playing against my good friend Franco in Swiss, and um, he went first. I had an awesome hand. Like I was gonna blow up and knock out his toad for sure. It's like almost guaranteed to we'll knock it out. And um, he plays his hand. He um, plays Jirachi with well, one card in his hand. So usually you'll get like a Sycamore or N to draw more cards. Because you only have one card in your hand. He plays Hex. Um, he gets a Hex. Plays a Hex. On my turn, I draw, attach, pass. And then his turn, he has via Secret for the Hex. And plays it again. And and um, then Quick and Punch. And then I lose. So uh, yeah, Hex really, really hurts the deck. Alright, so let's play a couple games with this deck. I'll show you how fun it is. Hopefully, I don't dead draw or something. So, save ho oh deck. Um, oh, and if you guys haven't figured out, this is an expanded deck. So, yeah, it's only for expanded cities or regionals. I probably wouldn't take this deck into regionals, but you know, to each their own. If they don't know how to play against the deck, it's, it's very deadly. It's a really good deck. Alright, so ho oh. We're going to play against a Psychic and Colorless deck. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe like Wobbuffet Bats, which is a terrible matchup for us. Because if they start Wobbuffet, you know, we're in trouble. So, this deck, I don't really care if I turn go turn um, one or two. If I go turn one, I can set up. And if I go turn two, I can probably just knock you out. So, Daryl these is calling the coin flip. Taking quite a long time. And I've lost a coin flip, so most likely he'll go first. So hopefully we don't run into a Wobbuffet. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, so he wants me to go first. Just, okay, so I start with the worst starter in Pokemon history. is Jirachi EX. So I'm put Jirachi down. And they will start with a Kangaskhan and a Sigil. Is it a tool drop or the safeguard? Safeguard Sigil. All right. So we have a pretty good hand. We're going to do Bow Compressor and just knock out the hose right away. Ho oh. Ho oh. And. I, do, I should do a Sycamore maybe. Because I don't have really have a. Really good support in my hand, so let's do a sycamore. That do you have the third hole in my deck? Oh yeah, third hole. Oh. Yeah, let's do a sycamore. Done with that. Let's do a trainer's man. Mm, you know what? Let's do ultra ball. Discarding the fairy and the skyla, getting a hoopa. I'll play the Hoopa and use Scoundrel Ring. And I will get a Shaman, a Keldeo, and 
Let's just get a Sign the Toad. So let's bench it to Water Pokemon. Let's play Trainer's Mail. We get Assault Vest and VA Seeker. Mm, I could get the VF Seeker. I really don't want to drop my um, DCE though. But yeah, let's grab the VF Seeker. So we will Shaman for three. Draw three cards. Get the Float Stone onto Keldeo. We will Comp Search away uh, Fighting Energy and Chorus and a Probably grab uh, a Xerneas. Okay, Xerneas DCE. Let's VS Seeker for a Sycamore. So, pretty good turn. Pretty good turn. Besides starting Jirachi, which is unfortunate. Um, but other than that, pretty good turn. So, we still don't draw our. Um, our sky field. So let's rush in, retreat, get vulnerable, Jirachi out, and retreat into Hoopa. And we will end our turn. So we have one, two, three, four, five different types of um, Pokemon. And I'm not counting Xerneas. So five times three is 1500. So if we get sky field, I guarantee we can knock out this King of Kong. If we get Skyfield, so actually I have Skyla, I think. Yeah, I have Skyla. Yeah, we'll get a knockout next round. I mean next turn. So uh, he plays Shauna, uh, draw five cards. He has a Robo Slug, which is kind of annoying. He has a Sigilus, which I can knock out because my Xerneas is not a EX. So um, we're in a really good position. So he plays triple draw, I think that was called, yeah, triple draw, draw three cards, now my turn. So we get a Ho-Oh, so we will play Via Seeker, get the Skyla. Play the Skyla, um, grab the Skyfield, I have one Skyfield, two, three, three Skyfields. I will play the Skyfield. Um, attach energy to Xerneas, I'll bench to Xerneas, I will, let's see, let's try to rebirth to get, um, another type of Pokemon, so that's a fail, and then, Ho-Oh uh again, rebirth, and that fails, so I'm gonna bench this Ho-Oh, because I don't want to risk not getting the Pokemon to bench, so rush in, Retreat onto Xerneas, and then we will Rainbow Force for 19 and take two prizes Lightning and Energy Switch. Cool. So, Daryl D's is in some big trouble. Hit a Robo Slug, which is about one turn. Sitch Lift, I would knock that out. And, um, yeah, he's in a tough position right now. Also, I don't think he's really playing a meta deck. So, this game is just to show the, consist the consistency of the Ho-Oh deck. So, we'll drop the Ho-Oh for sure. And we'll drop... I press it, right? And we will drop the... Probably Shaman. The reason why Shaman over Jirachi is because Jirachi is a steel type and we have other Shamans in the deck. So, yeah, we'll drop the Shaman. Oh, I think I have another Shaman in the deck. Oh, I should have another Shaman in the deck. How about that? Alright, we talked to get Skyfield, nice. So let's attach a DC onto this Xerneas. And do I have a license in my discard pile? No, I do not. Okay, we don't need to overextend right now. We 
we could just knock out this Robo Sub and then go on from there. So, um, yeah, I'm, gonna do, I'm just going to knock out the Robo Sub with Rainbow Force for 13. And of course, no prize cards because Robo Subs are annoying and he attaches. Uh, uh, psychic energy, and he's gonna do dark corridor because he has the dimension valley. He went Shauna first. Another fidget lift, another robo sub. So, how annoying is that? You gotta handle another. Robo sub. All right. Okay. Top deck Landy. So first things first about Russian. I'm gonna play Skyfield. Gonna Ultra Ball these two away and get hopefully my second Shaman. Right. Yep. Second Shaman. Checking the rest of my bench. Uh, let me see my all my cards. Do I even have a lander? I mean a Lysander in my deck? Yes I do. Okay. So let's bench this Landy. We'll bench the Shaman and hopefully draw into a, the Lysander. And we well we kinda draw into Lysander. Let's put the end, the Lysander, and put a valve compressor. I don't think we need to compress anything else. All right. So we have. We're gonna retreat into Xerneas. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and six times three is. I love playing against people who take. Okay, I'm a very nice guy. People actually know me, know I'm very nice. If you're gonna be an idiot like this guy, I'll, I'm gonna be a dick back. All right. So let's see what smart ass thing I wanna say. I love playing against decks that I auto win, like yourself. Wink face. All right, so back to my counting. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I, I lost count. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's enough. So let's play this. Oh, please end your life, noob. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay. So the life sent up this Gengar and we'll rainbow force. For 190, knock out his Gengar. So we have one VS6 in your hand, one there, one there, and one there. Okay, so that's the last VS6. I don't know why he promoted the Sigil Lift. He should have promoted the Robo Sub, but whatever. And he can see, so you're gonna be a dick and you can see. Okay. Alright, so once again, that probably wasn't a meta deck. Um, our opponent was quite rude too. So let's play another game. Maybe it's a meta deck. Maybe he plays Hex Maniac turn 1. And I'll show you guys how dead this deck is. But as you can see in that game, it's very fun. It's very explosive. Attack for big numbers. So Jason the Egg is going to choose who goes first. I also don't know why our last opponent wanted us to go first. I mean, he doesn't seem like he had a turn one attacker, except um, Gengar's first attack, which is not very really good. It's kind of funny how he called me a noob, too, when he had um, playing that deck with Kangaskhan and Gengar and whoever else 
this in there. So Jason the Egg is choosing who goes first. Come on, Jason. Well, okay. <sighs> All right. So, I guess he left the computer. So, what deck are they playing? They're playing... Oh, dude, actually, you know, a pretty competitive deck. You know, two toes, the bats... Uh, Lugia, Octillery, this would have been a good match, you know? But, um, too bad he wasn't, um, at the computer, I guess. So, let's try it one more time. Kyle Sack, one soul. Lightning, grass, and dragon. Oh man. What is that? So they go first, so I'll go second. So if it really is a dragon deck, I could um, potentially knock him out real quick because dragons are, fairy, are weak to um, fairies. I would choose Zernius. Sorry, God, I'm like lagging out right now. Okay, so we see a bunch of grass, a lightning, a dragon, and a Charon. So most likely, this is probably gonna be what. Like the Noivern deck, maybe? Oh god, that deck is so annoying. Top deck of ho oh, okay. No one with Bench Ho or Shaman. So we get C Dot. A Grass Energy on the C Dot. A Charon for three cards. And they pass. Okay, so we're probably gonna win. So I'll play one more match after this. Oh, let's put a DCE, a Salt Vest, that's Ultra Ball, there's Ho-Oh, and there's Skyla Way. By the way, that Skyfield top deck was awesome. We'll get the Hoopa. We'll get the Scoundrel Ring going. Yes, we will grab Keldeo, Toad, and Landy. So, if Keldeo down, Landy down, Cybertoe down, Shaman for five. We will trainers mail. Hopefully we get a bow compressor. No, we do not, but we do get an ultra ball, so that might do something. So we will ultra ball with Sycamore and Fairy Energy to grab this. Actually, did I play a supporter yet? I did not. I have Skyla. Okay, so most likely we will win right now. So, let's just get... Um, let's get a Xerneas, whatever. Nah, you know what? Let's get a Shaman. Just in case. Okay. We'll play... Sh no, not yet. Oops. We will play a Via Seeker, get the Skyla... And I will Skyla for a Battle Compressor. Which I will compress every Ho-Oh in my deck. One. Oh god, one. And I think I have one in my discard pile, so that sucks. Okay. Come on, coin flip gods, give me a rebirth. Tails, and... Ah, Tails, alright. So, you know what, I'm just going to play Shaman. 
And then I'll put this end my turn here. So yeah, if we got a tail, I mean a, a head on the rebirth, you would have got the um haul out from the discard pot with three energy, energy energy switch the fairy onto Xerneas and um win. But that didn't happen. He played a Klian, Klian, set your base set your deck for three basic energy cards. Call for family. All right, so this short game is going to turn really, really long because I got to knock out um, three Pokemon. Oh, okay, so we topped like the fairy. So we just touch the fairy and do Rainbow Force. Top deck via Seeker. And pretty much, guys, we, you know, they're not going to do anything that is going to, um, like, pretty much, they're not going to win. So, you see, um, yeah, this guy doesn't even have, like, a meta deck. So, instead of attacking for two more turns, I'm just going to give him the win. Um, you guys know I pretty much won this already. I'm going to give him the win so I can show you guys one more, one more game. So, let's concede, give him the win. All right, defeated. Okay. So if you look at the deck, yeah, twenty-one energy. You know, like twelve grass. One, only one dragon. You know, that's not really a competitive deck. He, it's pretty much um, him maybe playing for fun or trying to get um points to maybe get better cards. So I don't mind conceding to this, um conceding. You know, I don't play this game for this um reward ladder. I just play it to um see how consistent my deck can draw, you know, because a lot of the matches on here, um, both matches were against, you know, not really not competitive decks. In the one match that the deck was pretty decent, um, he he wasn't here, so. So I won the coin flip. Um, I, both games I went second, I believe, so let's just go first, just to show you guys turn to our turn ones. Okay, so this is a not a very good hand. So let's put Shaman down. We're playing against uh, Rayquaza with the Mega Ascension. Okay, so we will Battle Compressor. Ho oh. Ho oh. And it's one whole prize again? God. Yeah, I think one hole is prize. So let's grab a fairy energy in there. All right, then we will scoundrel ring. Yes, we will get Keldeo, Landris, and Toad because that's the only thing we have left. So we prize our third ho oh and our second shaman. So let's bench Landy, let's bench Toad, let's bench Keldeo, let's put the Folk Stone onto our Keldeo, let's play a Trainer's Mail. Um, we get a Skyla. So should I Sycamore or should I end this hand? I'll probably just Sycamore this hand away. We have three other energy switches. And okay, so okay, yeah, I'm a comp search, discarding a fighting and a battle compressor, and let's grab the Xerneas and start powering our Xerneas up. All right, so let's rush in. And retreat to our more bulky Ho Oh, and hopefully that doesn't get knocked out. Let's attach a Thought Vest and end our turn. So, Rayquaza Spirit Link, probably gonna evolve the Rayquaza right away. Uh, Pokemon Fan Club, probably gonna be a Hoopa. 
Oh, Eveloton Mewtwo EX. Okay, so this is not the deck I thought I would be playing against. I thought it would be some variation of Turbo Ray that they just want to run the um, the promo Rayquaza with the Mega Ascension, but I guess I was wrong. So we see a Trainer's Mail for a Prof Letter grabbing two energies, a Sidekick and a Dark Energy. Okay, so this, and he is Mega Ascension, so get um, the Mega Form, Mega Ray, all right. So if all goes well for us, we're going to knock that out before he even evolves anyways. So let's play Skyfield. Let's bench Xerneas. Let's do a Rebirth. And a Rebirth. Yay, we get one. Okay, cool. So we get the Fighting Energy and a... Fairy energy. So we rip into a um a energy switch or just a fairy energy. We should be golden. Okay, let's see. Let's let's chorus for a huge, huge hand. And we will chorus. Alright, so we do get energy switch, but we'll just attach this one. Energy switch the fairy onto this Xerneas and let's play Battle Compressor to get rid of anything we don't want um I don't think I want I mean I, I do want the Life Fanner but I'll put it in there so we get the DSC carried out and let's get rid of this Battle Compressor alright so we will rush in Retreat to Xerneas, and I'm not going to count it. I'm pretty sure I have a knockout. Pretty sure. Rainbow Force. For 220, which could knock out the Mega Form, I believe. Ultra Ball and Lightning Energy. Okay. So we're going to see, see a Shatter. Sh okay. Our victory. Okay. So yeah, um, probably not a very competitive deck. Yeah, twenty-seven energies. Um, and the people that play these decks, I'm not insulting you guys or anything. I just want you know, don't want to tell my um, my viewers, oh, they're the best deck ever. I'm just showing you, I'm not playing against you know a super competitive deck. So all right, guys, that was um, Ho Oh with Xerneas or Rainbow Rainbow Road, or you like to call it. Um, yeah, and. Give the deck a try. If around your area, people don't know about the deck, it's a really good deck. It's just if they know how to play against it, it could be a really bad deck. So yeah, so please um like, comment, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.